I find it very frustrating when I deal with scientists who say uh, they're not interested in something where the mechanism can't be explained, yeah. like hypnosis, for yeah. example. Yeah. And yet, placebo is taken into consideration in every medical test that's ever yeah. done. Nobody's ever explained placebo. Nobody's ever explained it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But they're just yeah. like, well, well, placebo, you got to do a double blind, yeah. you got to do But so they sort of like name it. Yes. Put it in a file yeah. and pretend like it's been explained. Yeah. The Big Bang. Well, there was the Big Bang, and yeah. you know, uh, oh, where did the Big Bang happen? Yeah. Well, there was a Big Bang. You know, it like, has all it, the characteristics it, of a fairy tale. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It, and not to be disrespectful, because there's incredible scientific work being done, but there needs to be the humility of of recognizing that. You know, science is a flashlight, and where you shine the light, it illuminates. Yeah. But there's a lot of darkness around perfect, that light. Perfect analogy. That's, that's, I completely agree with you. And, you know, I bumped up against this a, a lot over my writing career, but perhaps particularly with regard to the issue of consciousness, which, which um, uh, is regarded by an astonishingly large faction of, of uh, credentialed scientists as simply an epiphenomenon of brain activity. Right. That, 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 that it can all be reduced to this you know, a few pounds of jelly inside, yeah. inside our skulls and state that as though it is an empirically proven fact when it isn't an empirically proven fact at all. It's a, it's a theory, it's a reference frame. It might be true, but it equally well might not be true. And what it does is it discourages inquiry into other areas of reality that don't fit that particular reference frame. So the way that science, for example, has responded to uh, Rupert Sheldrake's work um, it has been very dismissive, whereas in fact Rupert is, Rupert is producing um, scientific experiments that are statistically significant, yeah. uh, which indicate that phenomena like telepathy take place. You see, if, if you're a materialist science scientist, you can't buy telepathy because you can't figure out the mechanism that makes that, that's makes that possible. You right. want to see some kind of wire or wireless connection. It's got to be repeatable, two. predictable, yeah. measurable. It, yeah, Exactly. And, and therefore, a, a whole area of really intriguing research, which might shed light on aspects of the human condition uh, is just dismissed as quote unquote pseudoscience. Yeah. Uh, where, whereas, in fact, it's not pseudoscience at all. It's great science. We should be investigating these mysterious areas and all too often we don't, we don't do so.